Today's video, we will learn how to swap players here. And I want to start the video using Chris Weber. Um, as you can see right away, I've added a Joel Embiid's hair to Chris Weber. Um, he does have a hairband on in the default roster. So I'm going to show you something else we've been working on. Uh, using Cheat Engine, I'm going to remove this headband. And I'll, I'll do another video on Cheat Engine, how to do this. But I save it, go back in. Headband is now removed. And you can see that Chris Weber has hair. Basically, I just wanted to do a quick video. It isn't perfect. I would still have to, you know, edit the textures. But when I zoom out, it, it looks decent. Um, not sure why they have him at 6'9". I thought he was listed at 6'10", but whatever. Anyway, um, so if I wanted to achieve the mini fro look for Chris Weber, let's just look up some images of it. I know sometimes he did wear his headband, sometimes he didn't. Uh, so we're just going to look up fro. I mean, so yeah, sometimes he wore his headband, sometimes he did not wear that headband. So I would have to work, you know, go into a 3D editing program called Blender and edit the fro so that it could be worn with a um, so that it could be worn with a headband. But anyway, back to the fro. It's not perfect. But this video is just going to show you guys how to add hair to players. Just swap hair. Not really swap hair because you're not removing it from the other player, but just add it to another, add somebody's hair to another player. All right. So let's see. So first you want to go to your NBA 2K18 directory and your modded folder. What you want to do is you will want to have. Um, for this one, PNG 8540 and PNG 4090. 4090 is Embiid. 8540 is Chris Weber. You also want to open up 7-Zip and copy your, your address into 7-Zip. And then you can... While in 7-Zip, if you go to view, you can have two panes up. And inside this new pane, we're also going to paste in the address. So in the first pane, we want to open up Joel and Bead's 3D Cyberface models. So we open it up there, png 4090if This other one, I'm going to use this other view pane. I'm going to use this for Chris Weber. I'm going to open up Chris Weber's 3D Cyberface here. All right, I had to get rid of some stuff. So uh, let's see. All right, so we got it opened up here. Uh, as you can see, it has the high head scene. This controls the body model, all the instructions there. Um, and if I open up these other files, like the hair shell dot scene, hair one scene as you can see there's nothing in these when i open it with notepad it's really nothing in it because he doesn't the default chris weber model does not have any hair like any 3d hair all right so the next thing i want to do is so i'll go over to joel and bead side and everything should be in alphabetical order I want to find that the two files with hair color and I'm going to drag them over and do you want to copy files? Yes. So just click yes. All right. So now they're copied over. The next thing I want to do is get this hair underscore oh one dot scene file. And uh, for the sake of the video, well, I'm just going to drag it over to Chris Weber for now, but we need to actually edit it. So I'm I'm also going to um, drag it to my desktop here in a second. Let me clear off my 
my screen, drag it, drag it to my desktop so it can be copied over. All right, now open it from the desktop. I'm going to show you what you need to do. Type in high head period and push find next. Scroll down a little bit and you'll want to go to the closed bracket. You want to place your cursor after the closed bracket and before the comma. And then you'll want to go all the way down to the end. And you have an you see above object, you have like two closed brackets. That first closed bracket after this high head model, you would want to place the cursor there and erase everything in between the two cursors. So let's let's do this. Start back from the top, control F, find your first high head file. Go to the close bracket, but before the comma, place your cursor there. Scroll all the way to the bottom. All right. Press shift. Press your, place your cursor right behind this close bracket. Right click and delete. Now, everything that was between those two brackets is deleted, as you can see. All right. So now we want to go down here below where it says object. We want to get rid of everything that says LOD shape. So after high head, we get rid of everything that says LOD shape all the way to LOD shape five. Leave the close quotation marks. All right. And then we want to save that. So remember, this is the one that is this is the file that's on the desktop. We just saved it. So now we can close it. We'll drag that. Um, well, I reopened it just to make sure everything was indeed saved to the desktop. But we'll drag that over to the Chris Weber file. Again, we want to say yes. All right. So let's open it back up one more time because there's a 3D file we need to find. So that right there is the file we need to find inside of Joel and Beats sub files and here it is here as you can see the same name so we just drag it over yes all right so now now we should be complete so when we go in the game and we look at Chris Weber He has the mini fro. So just in case you guys are like, well, he had a mini fro at the beginning. I'm going to remove the mini fro. Or I'm going to remove Joel and Beats here. All I have to do is just delete this hair underscore 01 scene file. Delete it. All right. Now I'm going to go right back in the game. Go back to Chris Weber. No more mini fro. All right. So now, if I want to just put it right back, all I have to do, hold on, let me get this out the way. All I have to do is drag that hair scene file back over there again. So, like, yes. So now, when I go back in the game, I go back to Chris Weber, and it, the hair is there again. All right, so this is just a basic tutorial. I haven't showed you guys how to like get the hair to fit perfectly in Blender or anything. I will try to do another video, no promises, but let's look at him in game, all right? So the hair kind of shines funny in this game. So I definitely will have to make some edits to the textures, change some things up so it can look perfect, change the size of the hair so he has like a real mini fro because his hair was a little closer to his head. But it looks good for the most part. It looks decent. It's a decent start. But this has been the tutorial. That's how you add hair to players. All right, you guys watch this video. Um, I've got plenty of other tutorials, more 2K18 tutorials coming. Stay tuned.